Hello everyone, today's video is an airsoft selling review on the ASG M40A3 Sportline version. It has been upgraded and customized by me with multiple different upgraded internals and I'll show you guys what those internals are and I will also give you guys a chrono of this rifle and a little overview of what is to come in this build that I made for you guys to buy. Most of you guys have probably already seen a lot of ASG M40 Sportline uh, reviews out there on YouTube, but I'm just going to go over just a few little features that are already on this. So as you guys know, it has an adjustable cheek rest that can rise uh, decently high for that adjustment you want to make when shooting your gun. And then on the back side of the gun, there's like a rubber, a rubberized uh, butt pad for the back end of your stock and then there's a like a stippled grip for extra like grip for your uh, hand so that you don't uh, slip so your hand doesn't like slip off the rifle when you're going to shoot the gun it has that on the back handle and the front of the uh, of the stock and then you can go to the bottom of the stock where there's a uh, rail system for a bipod and any other uh, foregrips or anything you want to place on the bottom of your uh, M40. And there is also a standard Picatinny rail that comes on the top of the receiver. So because I installed the VSR-10 hop-up system into the SG M48-3 Sportline, uh, the hop-up lever is a little low. It sits a little low on the stock, so it's a little hard to adjust by your finger. You can adjust with your finger, it'll be a little tough, but I do uh, advise you to use like an Allen key to adjust it, and it does adjust just fine with an Allen key. Now moving on to the aftermarket parts that I installed into this rifle. So right off the top of the list, you can see that I installed a VSR-10 hop-up chamber for the Tokamui and j, &J VSR-10 system, and then I installed a Matrix upgrade kit, the Type 96 APS system, and then I installed a Maple Leaf hop-up bucking and then to increase the fps i added the average fps adjuster rings all are pre-installed into this build one quick note that i wanted to add is that this stock is actually pretty durable and it it's weighted perfectly with a little uh weight in the upper part portion of the stock and i would say this plastic is even though it is plastic it is very durable as for the hop-up system, I went with a VSR-10 hop-up chamber. It's the same uh, hop-up that is used in the Tokyo Marui VSR-10 series rifles and the j, &J Bar-10 as well. And for the bucking that I decided to go with, I went with a Maple Leaf Autobot 60 degree bucking. It's the same bucking that the SSG-10 uses as well. The trigger system that is installed into this gun, it is just the ASG M40 trigger and it has been reinforced with two screws on either side of the trigger, which is an improvement from the VSR-10 system triggers and it's also known to have better sears as well. Let's move on to what gives this gun its power. So for the cylinder head, I did uh, add a little Teflon tape to the cylinder head to increase the better sealment and also I added an o-ring that uh, just fits the cylinder head much better and allows the cylinder head to engage with the hop-up chamber better. So the parts that I went with for the piston, spring, and the spring guide are all matrix parts and they it is from the uh, matrix tune-up kit and uh, it's definitely an upgrade from the standard plastic that you would typically get with the uh, the stock. AHDM 48.3 sport line and for the rings that I put on the end of the spring guide to adjust the FPS I went with the medium average FPS adjuster ring and I also used the one of the uh, rings that the uh, spring guide comes with originally I just took off the rest of the runs that it comes with and I only left one on the other end and then the piston uh, I left the uh, I, I left the o-ring on there because it worked well with the build. One other modification that I ended up doing later on for this build is I uh, cut out some 
hole opening gaps so that you can grip the mag better even though the mag does release just fine just by hitting the button it pops right up and it's ready for you to grab but i just added that little feature just for whoever might need it and wants to grip their mag better now moving on to the chrono of the ashtm 40 that i upgraded i use bls 20 gram bbs the perfect bb for this testing and i am going to shoot four rounds through the gun through the chrono and then uh i'll show you guys the average fps of all those shots so yeah uh let's jump right into this My overall thoughts on this build are pretty much positive. With the VSR 10 hop chamber, you can get so much more accuracy. And with the extra tune-up kit, with the FPS adjuster rings, it shoots absolutely amazing. I would highly recommend this build. And if you're wanting to buy it, definitely check out my hop-up account and my eBay account as well. And if you're interested, just hit me up and feel free to subscribe and like the video if you really like what you uh, watched today. And I hope you guys have a great day.